camp that I had to do with the daf on Friday. I had to do on Friday. Um, uh, because we we said that Abu the Shmuel said to Shmuel, would you be happy if, if it was your daughters? Would you tell them? Would you say the same thing? Right? And then because of that, because he because he opened up his mouth, Shmuel, Abu the Shmuel, so then Shmuel's daughters were captured. So they have this game in camp called uh, Mafia or something, which it's basically like you eliminate a kid. It's like a whole it's a whole story, and then, and then like you say, okay, so this kid was. A limit was died and it did it, it, it and a whole story you say about it. They want to know if that's if that's the proper thing to do. It's like I don't know from the daf. It sure sounds like it's not the proper thing to do. Right, but, again, maybe, not. but maybe that was Avu with the Shmuel. It was because the pasuk is a gadol, right? The pasuk sounds like yeah, well, was, that's, what was what a said. that's what Gershon said. That's what Gershon said. So only made, but so we only so, What do you say? I'm saying if the game is called mafia, so let each kid. Take a mafia name for himself instead of him calling him Yanko, call him Gotti. This guy called Capone. So this way, you know. I hear. I hear. Maybe that's an Aitza instead of using their names. Yeah. I hear. Maybe. Okay. So, anyways, we're on the Mishnah of Chavkimalama base. Yeah. We don't have a minion on here. Oh, it's a. Uh, <laughs> I guess we gotta start. It's already late. Okay, so the mission is Bechen Shnei Anoshim. Again, we're continuing with the whole, the whole Pesha Asu or Pesha Hitter. So now the Gemara, instead of dealing with Ishus, now the Gemara st- starts with men. And the next two blot are basically all about Kohanim, whether Kohanim are Neman or not. So this is Bechen Shnei Anoshim. Zeh Oimer Koyen Ani, Zeh Oimer Koyen Ani. Two men. Each one says that they're kaihanim, right? Ain't on their and so they're not believed. Meaning, a guy just comes comes rolling into shul and says, "I'm a kaihan. I want an ali." Right? So he is. He's, they're not believed, right? Because it's it's uh, it's an eid echad. Oh, so now the question to be asked is eid echad nem be surin. Two wire. Yeah, inside. So it's. I mean, what is it? Right. What does that mean by an aliyah? Meaning you see, you 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 get you get up and you say, "Is there a kohen?" And the guy says, "Yeah, I'm a kohen." You're not questioning him. That's the the question is why not? Don't you, that, don't that, you question him? No. We should, right, we should question should we... him. I'm saying in front of the whole seaboard, you're going to go question him now. Oh, so it's a good question. You're asking a good question, <laughs> right? From this missioner, the guy says, "I'm a kohen." We say, "You're not believed." Finished. Right. So first of all, what? So the, the so it's you should say it's Eidech on Nambi Surim because this is Isurim, no. So the thing is though, it could it, why could why is it Isurim? Because he's what asking himself in, to be Tame. No, that's Isurim. That's what, about, what about eating Truma? What about eating Truma? So the isn't that also Hamakoli, Isurim? Give me Truma. <clears throat> is that isn't that Isurim? Yeah, it's an Isurim because it's against the Torah. If you're right, not, so you should be believed. Going. So you should be believed. That's what you're saying. Eidechon is Naman be Yisur. I eat by your house, right? How do I know you you keep kosher? Eidechon Naman be So be Yisurim. He's believed. He's not believed for everything else. Right. So why is he not believed? Why should he be believed? Shavi Aleich Hatichid Yisurim. That's all. Oh, but he's he's but saying what what's wrong? So he gets an Aliyah. So that's Yisurim. That's not Mominus. Mominus. Ali is not Yisurim. Right. Ali is Yisurim. It's not Yichus. He's not believed. It's not Yichus. moment. It's not Isser. It's nothing. It's no, like, so that's, so that's what the, the place can say, that it is Negea to money because of mat, Matnas Kahuna, right? And also been Negea to marriage. We can marry, Cholo, all those things could become an issue. So Mamela, that's why he's not Neva. It's not just, you can't just put in Eid Dech and then be Right? But, but Lechaira, he would be Neva the, the, if Adam see him being matame to something, he would be Chai Malkus. That could be. That could be. But also, we do say the Ramah, Ramah. the Ramah and Eben Ezer does say, the Ramah and Eben Ezer says that for Aliyah, to answer David's question, for Aliyah, Bisman Azeh, we trust him. Because what's the gross of damage that's going to come? Nobody's going to go give the guy Truma now because he got an Aliyah. 
What's the worst? That he gets an aliyah? Yisrael can get an aliyah too, right? For, for the first aliyah. There's no great sacrifice with that. So nowadays, you don't have to worry about it. In the old days, when they were giving truma, then you had to worry about it because a guy gets an aliyah. Then on the way out of shul, the guy says, hey, I got some truma in my trunk. You mind taking it for me? Right? So then uh, you'd have a problem. Okay. So that's the first line of the mission. Then, by the mission was vanching me, Eden says, When they say Edus to each other, then then they're believed. What if they're father and son? Yeah. What are you saying? What if they're father and son? Lachar, then that would not be, no? Is it you're saying you're asking out because the same age, or you're saying out to puzzle age? You know, this is shame Eden Zed Zed. They're believed. Are you saying that that's One the same thing? I don't know. I hear that's interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, interesting question. If it's a father and a son. Yeah, it's the same thing. Anyways, okay, very good. So Lanchi Eden Eden Zed Zed, then Harayel and Amon, and then they are, then they are believed. Right? Um, fine. So let's if Rabbi Yehuda now. So now, seemingly we have we have two pashat adina, but now we have a three-way machloikis over whether they are believed or not. It seems to be maybe repetitive. Rabbi Yehuda Imer ain't mine on the kahuna api edachot. Right, we just got finished saying that an edachot is believed, and Rabbi Yehuda says, no, we don't. We don't go with a for a kain api edachot. Amar Rabbi Lazar, ain't masai. When does when did when does it not work? That's where there's iron, where people are saying that he's not a kain. Meaning, if there's people that are saying, by the way, this guy's not a legit kain, so then that's then that's where an edacha doesn't work. But if nobody's giving complaint, nobody's complaining, then it does work. says that that you do So the question is. What's the difference between Rabbi Shimon Gamliel and Rabbi Yehuda? Seems to be the same. Seems to be saying the same thing, which we'll see in tomorrow's daf. I think Rabbi Shimon. Fine. So Zog the Gemara. Now the Gemara first asks. So now we have at least I think I'm it's four. It. We have four Mishnayos all saying Pesha also who are Pesha hit. Right. Four of them are saying the same thing. Hey guys, can you be quiet? Yeah. So why do you need all four cases? So Kolhani Lamili. Why do we need all four cases? Three things that we need. If you remember way back, Rabbi Yeshua was Maida, where a person says, the first mission of the parak, Rabbi Yeshua was Maida, that where a person says that he bought the field from the father, right? That he's believed. So Rabbi Yeshua was Maida that. Because there, the, the per, why would you ever bring it up if the people decide not to believe you, meaning then you're going to lose money. Meaning, the guy could have just said, um, just kept quiet, and then he would have his field. The guy's living in the field. He says, by the way, you know, I got this field from your father, and I, but I bought it from him, right? So why did he open his mouth? If he opened his mouth anyways, even though there is a potential for him to take a loss, so then Mimela, that's uh, that we understand why you have to teach that. I will aid him, the lecker jar, the reminder, aim my life. But if Adam are saying, right, we said if Adam come along and they uh, said that it's our signatures, but by the way, we were forced into signing it, which is also Pesha Azur or Pesha Hitri. But there, there, there's no, they don't have any skin in the game. So maybe they shouldn't be believed. Amalai, so maybe they you wouldn't say Pesha Azur or Pesha Hitri. So we do. Vitana Aidim. And if you say Aidim, Shim de la Alma, right? That's because it's for other people. Aval, Iyu, but for himself, Dila Nafshe, that he's saying it for himself. Anton Mir Aleph now, right? Amalai, right? So it's a. That maybe he won't be believed. Fine. And if you say the first two cases, right? That they're both money things. Signing, signing for a guy star, and uh, signing for a guy star, and and the uh, what was the first case where he said the field doesn't belong to me. So that's mammon. Aval Ashes Ish di Sura, but Ashes Ish, which is Issa, right? That's a woman that said, "What was that case? That case was a woman says I was married, but then I got divorced." Right, so there maybe you would say that they shouldn't be believed. So they're not. So okay, in the space you tire and Okay, so why do you need the case of where the, the the second case in that Mishnah, which was that they were captured, and they uh, um, they were captured, and but they weren't they didn't become tummy that they should be mutter to marry a kind. So what do you need that case for? So when it says Mishnah to kavoy lemisni. Because it needed to say, the Bo Adam, if when she got married, 
um, Adam came and raised Uloi Tete. She can't, she cannot go out. Right, so maybe, maybe that case. I just have to switch devices. This device is dying. Hold on a second. Um, Um, sorry okay so then the last case is um that why do we have to teach the case of if she was captured and then she says, but I was captured, but no guy ever slept with me. And I should be put to marry a guy. And so that's also Pesha, also Ruh, Pesha Yeter. So there, we, the only reason why we have to say that case is because to teach the Chiddush of the last line in that Mishnah, which is that if Adam come after she already, we said she can get married. But if Adam come afterwards and say that she was the one that was captured, right? Meaning, so it's not Pesha, also Ruh, Pesha Yeter anymore, because now we know that she was captured. We don't care. And she still stay, and she could still stay married. Fine. But then we said that there were two, two opinions on which line that goes on. One opinion said that was Taka going on the cut the line, the part of the Mishnah that says about capture. But the other sheet that said it was going on the part of the Mishnah that said that said marriage. So that doesn't work. So that's Kasha Oni Safa. But the one that says on marriage, Michael Maymar, what is it coming to say? Because I wanted to teach you the case of the all that all those cases of the two women who were who were captured, right? Um, so meaning, so there is no chiddush. It just wanted to use it as a segue into the next case. Okay, so Why do you need the case of two women, right? Meaning, the case of two women was that we believe her on her friend, right? And oh, you want to say that 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 maybe that's the chiddush that already we have in a later mission of Taisu says right that even an evident a shivcha believes. Then what it says Mao, the same in Nefesh Lagaimlin. Maybe you should be chayshish for Gaimlin, which is what the invested arm is going to be about. So Gaimlin, um, Kamash Malanda, we're not chayshish for Gaimlin. Now, what is Gaimlin? Gaimlin means that we're afraid that one woman or one person is going to lie to the other person. Gaimlin basically means, I think, collusion. Right, where they collude with each other, where one person says, I'm not, I'm gonna make it about myself that I'm not, uh, that it's a problem, that I'm a problem, whichever case it would be. And I'm gonna say about you that you're fine. And you're gonna say about me that I'm fine. And, and you're gonna say about yourself that you're not fine. Meaning each one is gonna scratch each other's back. And we're afraid for collusion or not. So you would think that here we're afraid for collusion. So the Gemara says we're not afraid. We're not we're not worried about such a thing by every edus. Oh, very good. That's a good question. So yes, we are not worried about that by two edim testifying on something. We're not worried about it. We're only we, worried. It's Yaakov. If you start to be worried about that, it'd be like the whole bezdin and everything. Correct. That's a good point. Correct. Yeah. If you start, yeah, but I don't know if that's a strong enough reason. But it seems like when it's just two edim, we're not chayshin. We're not chayshin for that. Well, don't the Chakiris and Badikas by regular Adas kind of check that out? What do you mean? When they, when they give them a Faher by, the, by themselves, make sure they're not the same words and they're not everything. Everything that they check out would, would kind of get rid of the collusion business. They, they, you know, they, don't, check that, they don't check their bank statements that the guy just sold, oh. him, a, he just sold him an office building for a dollar. One of the Adam, they don't, they don't check that. But wouldn't it work with Eidechud also then? That they, they don't they interrogate the Eidechud? There's no Chakiris by Eidechud. So I don't know, maybe okay. So maybe that's a shot. I don't know. Somebody says something about it. Um, yeah, I don't remember. We'll see because the Gemara for the next Dhamma is going to be going through that. But anyway, it's the Gemara thing. You would think that we'd be Chayshish for Gaimlin Kamash or not Chayshish. So why do you need the case of the Kaihanim? The Gemara answers the Gabbai Lemis. They plucked the review of the Rabbanon. The reason for the Kaihanim case is because we want to teach the Machlaikas review of the Rabbanon, which is at the end of the Mishnah, and how the Gemara discusses this, uh, discusses it more based on a price. Because Tan Rabbanon, Ani Kayan Bechaveri Kayan. A guy comes into Shul. It doesn't have to be Shul, but he says, "I'm a Kayan, and my friend is a Kayan." Nemel Achila Betruma, 
then we he's Nemon, and we're gonna feed the friend Truma, right? Meaning, so he basically Rabbi Yehuda, well, but he's not Nemon to let him get married to somebody who has Yichus. Meaning, we're splitting his testimony. We're saying that the guy one aid is believed onto another one here, right? Um, um, but he's only Nemon that he could eat Truma. He's not Nemon to marry somebody with Yichus. Achi you Gimel. Unless you have three people there. How are you going to have three people? So basically, you have two that say Eidos about this guy that he's a Kayan. And two say Eidos about a guy that he's a Kayan. So that's, that's the way you would do it. Basically, because you're going to have three there. Right? You have a bunch of men. So you have the first and the, the first two men say Eidos on the third. And then the first and the third say Eidos on the second. And the second and the third say Eidos on the first. Meaning between the four of these Aidim, they're gonna each one of them is gonna have it's each one of them is gonna have the three Aidim, three people. That's the sheet of the Tanakama, sheet of the Rabbanon, is that an Aid Echod is believed for for Truma, but not for marriage, for Yichus. He he's not even believed even for Truma. Until you have three. So so now the Lachayr, the Gemara is thinking that they're, they're worried about Goimlin. If it's just Eid Echad, they're worried about Goimlin. Let's see. Lameimra, the Yehuda Chayish for Goimlin. Do you mean to say that Yehuda is Chayish for Goimlin? Meaning that they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna each take care of each other with the Eidos? Rabbanon loy Chayish for Goimlin? Rabbanon are not Chayish for Goimlin? But if Chashamin Elu, we heard exactly the opposite. The Tanan, because there's a mission in Demai, Hachamor and Shenichos here. So basically, again, Demai, is that if you have somebody who is an Amoret, so we're chosher, they didn't take off Meisers, because they don't take it, they don't take care of it, they don't take it too too serious. So how do you know that a Stam traveling salesman is considered legit? So if you have a Hamor, meaning Hamor drivers that come into the city, my fruit, my grain is Chadosh, which means it's no good, right? Chadosh you have to wait. Any new grain that was that grew, you're not allowed to eat until after Pesach, right? Until after the second day Pesach. So the guy comes, and let's say this is January. He says, mine is Chodesh, you're not allowed to eat it. But my friends, it's from last year, it's Yoshan, so you could eat it. Or he says, mine was fixed, meaning he took off, you know, Chumas and Maisus, and my friend did not take it. He's not believed. Right? Rabbi Yehuda, Aymer Neman. Rabbi Yehuda says believed. So you see that the Chachamim are saying they're not believed because we're afraid that he's pushing himself down and he's he's praising his friends in this town. So then the, everybody will go to his friend. And then in the next town, they're going to switch roles. They're going to switch roles and he's going to do it. Right? Rabbi Yehuda, Aymer Neman. Rabbi Yehuda. And they're really lying? They're really lying. Yes. It's your classic traveling salesman scam. Right, I'll I'll praise you, and the other guy will praise me, and then that's uh and that's it, right? So here here the shitas the shitas uh, are are uh, reversed. Here the rabbanon are the ones that are chayshit for it, and and uh, Rabbi Yehuda's not, and uh, by by Koyhanim, Rabbi Yehuda's the one that's chayshit, and the rabbanon are are not. So Peretz's favorite Peretz, Amar Avada Barava, Amar Rav Mochlepes Hashita. Switch it, okay? So switch the shitas, right? If you have a if you have a direct stira, so switch the shitas. Abai Omar loyalum like table. Abai says no, don't switch it. But demai ikilu, by demai you're able to be mekel. The chacham are able to be mekel, even though normally they're worried about collusion. But by demai they're not worried about it because roiv amayor is meiserin. The bottom line is most amaratzim do take off meiser. So since most most take off meiser, then it's not a problem. Right. How does that help for the first case, Chadosh and Yashim? How does it help us? I think, uh, yeah, somebody asks that. Is it the Gemara that asks that? Uh, I th- let's see the Gemara Vaita because some- the answer will come up. Yeah. So Omar Rava, the Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda Kasha, the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon, like Kasha, like Kasha. I'm sorry, I mean, read the Reddit as, as a question, as a Tmiya. Again, the Omar Rava, the Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda Kasha, the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon, like Kasha. Rabbi Yehuda, okay, so he had a stira. So we answered it, right? That by Demai, I'm sorry, I, I said Rabbanon before. Rabbi Yehuda, it's, uh, it's not a problem because by Koyin, 
he's chayshid for the for them doing collusion. By uh, by uh, what do you call it? by demai, he's not chayshid. Fine. What about the rabbanon? El Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, like kasha kizashnina. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda is not a kasha like we. But the rabbanon like kasha. The Amar Rabbi Chama Bar Ukva is shakli umnasay biyade, where shakli umnas are in his hand, right? Hachanami. On Talmud Beis now, b'shakli um nasay be'yoday, where the kli um nasay are in his hand. So what does that mean? So meaning, because he has the kli um nasay in his hand, it's obvious that they mean to do business. If he was just putting, then like the guy with the chadash and yashan, yashan, this answers it, right? The guy with the chadash and yashan. If he really meant to be putting away his his grain till after Pesach, then why is he holding all his utensils, his sale utensils, in his hand? He shouldn't be holding a sale utensils in his hand, right? So therefore, it's uh, it must be that he's just pulling shtick. So the Gemara says, okay. So where do you see this concept? Where do you see this concept? If you have a, a guy who's uh, Rashi says he's a kader, he's a he's a person that sells pots, but he's a chover, he's a tamut chacham. So therefore. He eats everything else tahar, with tahara, even though be'etzim he doesn't have to, but he eats things with tahara. For Yara, I said he went down to drink water. So now the problem is that he 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 left his pots unsupervised. So the question is now that they become tummy or not. So pnimia is tahiras, the pots that are on the inside of his let's say let's call it his wagon. So then tar because we're assuming that people didn't touch it. Bachitzaynos tameyas, but the outer ones are tummy. But Tanya, but the Gemara says, but it's what we learned, Elu Elu Tameus, but they're both Tame, the inner pots and the outer pots. So that's when are they, when are they uh, all puzzle, all Tame, I'm sorry, that's when he has his Kli Umnase Biyadai, meaning if they see his Kli Umnase Biyadai, like I guess the equivalent would be nowadays, you know, all those guys that walk around with the, uh, with the uh, little credit card machines. Right, so the, all the the guys collecting tzedakah with credit card machines. So this guy is holding his credit card machine in his hand. So it's obvious that he plans on selling all these pots. So you have to be chayshid that Amaratzim touched all the pots and made a tummy. So he's right. he's a chader regarding tuma and tahara, but he's going to leave his pots on on un, unwatched. Un, correct. Yes, but that's because I think he plans on selling them. Right, so he plans on selling them, so he doesn't have to be makbed on it. Right, so for himself, it's a problem. But that's talking about where he clearly had his, you know, his apron on and whatever it is, his receipt pad, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Because everybody knows they could touch everything because everything's for sale. Uh, but the Gemara says, Vatanya Elu Tahiris. But we said in the Brisa that they're both tar. We have another Brisa that says they're all tar. That's talking about where he doesn't have his Cleomonas in his hand. So he doesn't have his Cleomonas in his hand. So why would anybody go touch somebody's pots? Right? Why should why should any why should we crush it that a stranger is going to come touch it? So in which cases we're talking about where the panemius are are uh, tar and the outer ones are tummy? Hey, so how do you find it? So my answer is the smichel of Shusharam. It's somewhere where the pots were close to Rishusharabim. And because of the uh, the things that are on the side of the Rishusharam, basically in the Rishusharam they would put the uh, no, they do it now for security. They put like these big cement things outside shul so that nobody can ram a car into the shul. Right? Uh, Bollard. What do you call it? Bollard. Oh, yeah. Okay. So whatever. Yeah. So that. So those types of things. So if he put his pots there, so with Chayshid, that the people from the Shusarabim ran up against it and would touch it and become tummy. So that's the case where the ones that are closer to the outside are going to be tummy. But the ones on the inside, we're not worried that people from Rishul Sarama would come um, scratch up against it. Viva is saying, Rabbi Yehuda Barabana, but Maila Machumali Yosin come if we Oh, so now a new terror. So before we thought that the Machlaikis of Yehuda and the Rabbanon was over, we're worried about collusion or not. And here, here we're saying, not like that. Here we're saying that it's, um, it's the Machlaikis is, and we had this once before, I don't know where we had it, maybe in Yavamas, uh, where do you say that if somebody's if you see a kain eating truma, does that mean that we could automatically say that he must have yichus? Meaning, if you walk to a guy and the guy's collecting truma, people are giving him truma. So now, can we safely assume that that guy's a legitimate kain, or do we have to be worried about a scam? 
So that the machlokes between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbanon is whether we would we would assume that a guy eating truma is considered miyuchus, right? So Rabbi Yehuda holds that that's considered a proper yichus. So Mamela, if that's considered a proper yichus, you can't believe in edechad because if you're going to believe in edechad, then they're going to allow him to eat truma, and then uh, they're going to allow him to eat truma, and then they're going to end up using using it for yichus too. According to Rabbanon, nobody's going to ever think just because you're giving a guy truma doesn't mean he's going to have yichus. So therefore, you could give it to him, right? Fine. So then they want to ask Yibayilu, Ma'al lahalis mishtar is liyusin. What happens if a guy signs a star that he's a kayan, right? Can you use that for yichus or not? Now again, these shilas do come up with palichuva, right? Last week we discussed one case. I think we discussed it, did we? Um, I don't know. I Meaning, a guy says, "Yeah, uh, we have a we have a, a ksuba that says that my father signed that he was a kayan, right? So is that enough? Did anybody research that? I'm saying I'm a sadik kedushin. The guy signs. He says the aid kedu the aid ksuba comes and signs his name. Da 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 kayan. Nobody nobody bats an eyelash. They say, okay, he's a kayan. Shine. What's the can you? That don't we a, use like tombstones? Is that? Yeah. So that's another. Water sh- doesn't doesn't discuss that. But yes, nowadays the question is: Can we use can we use tombstones as? A, as yeah, but a, how is that a raya? It's not a raya. That's the shaila. That's that's exactly the gemara shaila. I think what's the hava meaning that it should be good? There's no why should it be? Why should it there's be? no. Why should I assume there's a chazaka? Ali Chuvin is a chazaka. No, but if you see, he has a grandfather who signed his name as Kayan, Okay, so maybe that's enough. Let's, let's okay. see the gemara. Let's first see the gemara because let's see and then. I don't think I discussed it. It actually came up last week. But what can you use star for yuchsin? So hey, don't what's the case? I plain kayan sign myself as aid, right? The way we do the ksuba. Man love. Who said aid this on him that he's a kayan? I mean, the guy came up and signed his name as kayan. So that can't be. Nobody, nobody would ever say that that's a proof. that's what you're saying, Zev. Well, how do you know when anybody <laughs> Yeah, how, do that, know, how do we know? Abba, 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 there's a chazaka. Well, that's what I was saying before. But maybe nobody ever checked. We, we, how do we know? Well, that's what I was saying before. Well, a guy Aaron's walks a in, you say, who's a Kohen? You know Aaron's Aaron's father? So maybe right. Aaron's father wasn't. A, how do we know? Well, yeah, well, well, but there's a chazaka. crossing over territories. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're getting into dangerous areas already now. Huh? Well, that could be. That could I'm saying, you know what I mean? Okay, fine, no problem. Rabbi no more aliyahs for you as a Yisrael. Aren't One second, Tiagaba, I gave him shlishi oh, today. That's right. That's, that's, your last and that's how I pay you back. <laughs> you should have gave him koyim. Right. You know, Aaron, next Shabbos, you'll tell him, Are you, you're a Yisrael? No, you're a koyim. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, so how, how do you know? What, what's the difference between Aaron goes up for the, he says he's a koyim, and and some somebody who you don't know who his father, what's the difference? That's because I'm a big covet fresher. You know that already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. No, I don't but, Isn't that a chazaka? Yeah, but we're not dealing. We're trying to see now if that's, this is enough of a We just said nobody checked. So who said anybody checked his father? When, when was the, what's Abba, the chazaka? Abba, Abba, Abba. What? He called up his father and his grandfather. Good. Father Very good. Fight. Wonderful. And, so that's but chazaka. That's the yeah. gene. You just said nobody yeah. checked. So how do you know? Wait a second. Checked? And they're going to call up his grandson because they called up everybody else. Right. That, that's, right. that's not a riot that it's true. Does it just make a chazaka do- Just because it was always done that way? David, David, does it make a chazaka or It probably does. But okay, can anybody so check anything? But you can't right. make a chazaka on something false. If I'm eating you told, carpets. You told me. The three you, of us you, are eating carpets. You said they don't check. I got you. Don't check, right? So if nobody, so nobody checked his father either. So what? What is what's what chazaka? If nobody ever checked, what's the chazaka? Right. Okay. So this is all. This is this is Jacob, all. You know what, Jacob, You know what this is coming from, right? What? He thinks he thinks that when we go out to wash our hands, we're washing our hands. He doesn't realize it's a whole kiddush. So now he's trying to he's trying to figure out what's going on. Over no, Rav Tziakov, what do you say? What do you want no, to say? I don't... Gamar, but somebody did tell me. I don't know. Somebody said something about genetics. Somebody told me there's a genetic test that could be 75% accurate for Kahanim. Oh, Kahanim, yes. Yes, yes. 100%. Yes, yes. 
I don't know how that works, and I don't. I wonder if that's acceptable as as aides. I don't. I don't know. Have, this is in, in some of the journals. They wrote it up in some of the journals and traditions, and uh, some of those journals they have very big articles about. It's very interesting. Interesting. I hear. Okay. So so okay. So that is saying. No, that's so it's not where he just stop, stops. Because besides on. the test, if you were son in law to Rabbi Flam, you could be a claim. That's another test. <laughs> you know, I once, when I was in YU, there was a debate. They brought in a from scientist that said that a, a lab in Israel figured out they were able to isolate a genetic gene for the Kohanim. And Rev. Tendler was there. And Rev. Tendler got up there and said, maybe, maybe not, but I wish you would stop your research. If the research falls into the wrong hand, someone could do a designer in terror or something and just, you know, use it for, to, to wipe out a certain DNA or something like that. He was very against any of this DNA yeah. certain research. I hear. Okay. So that's all right. There you go. So, all right. But either way, we're not holding by DNA. First, he's, just, he's ahead of his time then because you mark Shimon in, the, the, you mark Shimon mix in China. That's what they're doing. What are we doing now? The, what are they doing? They say they say there's a Havamina. To, they get all the from TikTok and from all the spies and all the Zach, and they can they're afraid they're working on designer DNA to attack individual people. Yeah. Wow, okay. Very science fiction, but very possible. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, we're saying light sweet, what's the case? The Sibe Ani Pliny Kayan Lavisi Monami Pliny. I, Pliny Kayan, borrowed money from somebody, from somebody, for Hasimu Sadi, and witnesses signed on that. So, okay, so now the question is, what did, when the witnesses signed on the star that Mr. Kayan owes somebody money? My, Amana Shabashtar Kamas Masti, are they just saying on the mana of the star? Or are they testifying on the entire, on the entire star, including that the guy is a Kayan? So that's the Shaila. So, of course, the Machlaikis, Ravuna Rav Chista. The Machlaikis, Ravuna Rav Chista. Chadam or Mylin, Chadam or Ain Mylin. One says you can't use that star, and one says you can't use that star. Fine. Okay, so we have a Machlaikis, whether you could or you can't. As far as, I mean, it seems like we pass it not. That it What's work. the base of the Machlaikis? What? What's the, the Svar of the Machlaikis? Uh, I think the story is whether the whether the Adam when they're signing on the do they include everything in the star or they're just signing on the loan? I, I understand. So one of the that's, that's Shiloh. Yeah. Meaning how that by the Shiloh is how thorough do the Adam have to look into everything that's written in the star? Do they have to do they have to sign off on every last thing in the star? Or or do you just go with the with the money in the star? Why are you dividing the star? No, meaning meaning who says that? They're mechuyiv to say edus on whether the guy's a kayan or not. Maybe they could just—they're just saying edus on the money, right? So that—that's basically what it is. You have a similar thing when when the hechsher gives a hechsher on a restaurant. Are they giving everything? They're giving a hechsher on everything or just the food? Meaning, do they have to be worried about the tzniyas of the waitresses? Do they have to worry the, about the, the TV what screen? Happened? What? The TV screen or the music? Exactly. Well, no, no, you wouldn't give a hechsha on something had place that had music. Yeah. Right. No use makbid. So different hechsherim have different standards of what's what's they're going to be. So the same thing here with the edus. Are you saying edus on everything or just on that? Fine. Ibayilu. Oh, so, um, so, uh, so the shaila that happened last week, I, I don't think I discussed it here. I don't know what the guy was thinking. He tells me that his grand, he had a baby, so he's making a pigeon aben, but his grandfather said he was a levy. His father says he was a levy from a grandfather, but they checked the tombstone and it doesn't say levy. So is he a levy or not? Okay, so what's the grace of Shaila? Shaila should do a pigeon aben. Because a levy doesn't need a pigeon aben. So the guy tells me, my father asked Ramayisha, and Ramayisha said to do a pigeon aben, you know, misafik, which means don't make a bracha. So he says, what should I do? Last week, yes, Ramayisha. No, the father, the father asked about his own case, right? So I said, one second. So you're saying your father got a psaq for Ramosha about this, and you're asking me? <laughs> <laughs> that was going on over here? I said, what do you want me to tell you? That Ramosha, I disagree with Ramosha? That ain't happening. He says, yeah, well, I say, he says, I have a couple of siblings that asked the Shiloh, and they said different than Ramosha. I said, wonderful. Go with those, Rabbi. 
Oh, come on, Ramosha. Okay. <laughs> I said, unless the you don't. The Fiat and the Schweider of Moshe had. Of course, what's the Shaila? Yeah, of course. I don't know. It's, but no, the, no, the only Shaila could be is maybe they didn't understand Rav Moshe. That's the only thing. Or they asked somebody else who asked Rav Moshe. You know what I mean? That type of, you know, telephone. Right, right, right. right, right. Either way, but uh, fine. Ibai Luhum. Ask the Shaila. Ma'u lahalis minasiyas kapayim liyusin, right? Aaron, you were, that's what you were saying before, right? You go out to wash, right? You go out to wash. Guy gets up for duchening. Does that mean if a guy gets up to duchen, so that means, okay, he must be a mayuchas de so uh, this child is uh, is interesting. It's a shaila according to the one that says that you, if a guy a kain's eating truma, it works, and it's a shaila one that says that a kain's um, that a kain eating truma doesn't work. It's a shaila according to both sheets. Why? So maybe truma tavoin misahi. Truma is an avera of misa, meaning if a kain's eating truma and he's not a legitimate kain. He's high of Misa. So if he's already doing that, it must be he's a legitimate Kayan. You can learn out from that. I want to see his Kapayim to Isra say a Kayan, just a Kayan that Duchens, that gives out brachas by the Duchening. Now we're not talking about Duchening by us, we're talking about Duchening, we're talking about Duchening in the base of Mikdash. But if he does that, well, the truth is really by us too. But if he does that and he's really Yisrael, so it's a, uh, it's, he's being without the mitzvah to say of Kaisavaruchu. Right, that only the Kayanim give brachas to Klai Yisrael, not Yisraelim. Right, so so maybe that is he wouldn't be so concerned, so a liar wouldn't care. I do a loishna, or maybe it doesn't make a difference. And if a guy's already duchening, then he's duchening. And then Tibai Lamandam Rain Mylan, and it's a Shaila Kornet Ramandam, and it says that Truma does not work to tell you, you chushani mili Truma, the Masachla Batsina. Truma, you eat and you have privacy of your own home, so a guy can, can fudge it. Right? But Kapayim is in front of everybody. He loved Kayin, or he wasn't a Kayin. Kule hai loy machtif inish nafshe. A person's not going to have such chutzpah. Meaning a guy wakes up and he's fadim and he wants to become a Kayin. Okay, so he gets he gets his friends to give him truma. Okay, shine. So he does it in the privacy of home. But for a guy to get up in front of the whole Klai Yisrael into Duchen, when he's not really a Kayin, that already requires a lot of chutzpah. Or maybe it doesn't make a difference. So again, a like is Rabbi Chista Ravavina, Chad Amar Mailin, Vachad Amar Ein Mailin. One says Mailin, one says Namailin. Now, there's a very interesting practical. Am I frozen? Oh, no, you're good. No. There's a very interesting practical halacha that comes from this. And that is, I don't know when the Oilam, if the Oilam benches their kids Friday night or Yom Kippur. Do, do you use, or before a chasana, do you use two hands or one hand? Those that don't use two hands is because. They say that you might be over on the on the assay of Kaisavaruchu because that's the way the Kaihanim do it. That's why some people just What would you say? What do I say? I don't say anything. But I personally put one hand on my on my uh, kids' heads. I only bench my kids once a year before Yom Kippur. I put one hand on there, not two. Why? So that's the answer to the question. Okay. That's what I do. That doesn't mean I hold I don't hold the Yaakov. Yeah. But before Mendel's up, Sharon, Rabbi Yoelish benched him with two hands. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That's, all right. That's a nice Rob right there. In Bell Harbor. Yeah, we went hey, to Bell Harbor. Tiago, I think your father did it half and half. Oh, yeah? He did some some with two hands, and then when he had to pick his finger on the page to keep it open, he did it with one hand. It depends which one he liked better. <laughs> Could be. Could be. <laughs> Comes from Yaakov Avinu, though. No, you got to hold the hands. Hold that the was page. the whole Misa. Right, so that you use two hands, but one hand on each. Right. Okay, so. Anyways, okay, that's a, that's that Shiloh, right? Isn't it a joke? This is all the real rabbi joke. But a guy came, a guy came to the rabbi. Can I have a certificate that I that uh that I'm a kohen? So the guy, what do you need a certificate for? He says, well, because my father was a kohen and his father was a kohen, so I also want a certificate that I'm a kohen, right? Something like that. I don't know how the joke went. Either way. So yeah, that, it goes back to if you pay me enough. Yeah. Was, okay. Well, fine. So, um, yeah. So then, Omerle Rav Nachum Rav Yitzchok the Rav Ma'u Lahalas and Nesias Kapayim Liyusin. What's the din by doing? Can you use? Uh, can you say somebody you see you go to Dochening that it's for Yichus or not? Omerle Pluk to the Rav Chista Rav Avina. That's actually Machleik Rav Chista Rav Avina. Hilchus Amai. Okay. What is the halacha? Omerle Ano Masnisa Yadaina. I know a brisa, the Tani of Yosi. I'm a gedayla chazaka. 
there's chazak is so strong, right? That a that a person Rashi says that a chazak is so strong, Bezdin is not able to take somebody out of a chazaka. Shenemar. Now we have a big long pasuk, right? Shenemar ume ume bnei hakayhan and bnei chavayu bnei akoyts bnei barzila shalokam umnos barzila hageladi isha ve 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 yikare al shem al shemam. Meaning, this is all talking about in Nehemiah when they came up from Bavel. So all the kaihanim that came up from Bavel, and these are all the names. So the Shiloh was, they came up from Bavel, do they have Yichus as kaihanim or not? So Eifa, Bikshuk, Savam, Hamasyachshim, Himisyachshim, Veloi, Nimtsov, Yagalom, and Akahuna. And they all were looking for their Savam uh, of their Yichus, right? And nobody could find it. And and they were they were stopped from becoming uh, kahuna. They were, Rashi says Vayigailu is a lotion of puzzle. They became puzzle from kahuna. Because they didn't eat these kayanim, they were to, I'm sorry, they were they were told not to eat of the kaidashim. Until the, they asked the Urim Batumim, right? The Urim Batumim was on the Chayshim, and they you know, the different the different stones lit up. They put the piece of paper into there, and the stones lit up of, of what the story what, with the with the uh, with the Yichas. So Amr Lehem. So wait, so what's going on here? So Amr Lehem. So this is what Hatriyosha said to them. Hare Atem, the You are all in your Pazaka. But may I use some Eichlan Begayla? What what type of food did you eat in in Golis? Right with kachim of gvul, which means truma. Afkan with kachim So all you could eat here is kachim of gvul. Fine. So what are we proving from this whole thing? And if you're going to say that we of duchening will tell you that you're meyuchis, hani even the parsi yadayu asila skinu. These kaihanim, since they parsi yadayu literally means they spread their hands, then they're going to come to. They're going to. We're going to end up end up treating them like regular kaihanim, which they didn't clearly. Um, we're not going to use the, this that they duchen towards anything. So the Gemara answers, Shani Hacha, Deriyah Cheskayu. Now here was different because their Chazaka had something wrong with it. It wasn't like they were Stam Kehanim because they were not eating Kachim the way the other Kehanim were eating. So therefore, why were they not eating Kachim a standard Kehanim? So it must be that there was something wrong with their Yichas. So therefore, maybe we wouldn't learn out from it. Eli Tema Hachi. The man dumer mila mitchuma liyuchsin. According to the one that says that you are mila from chuma liyuchsin, even the achli mitchuma asil askinu. Since they ate chuma, they were maybe maybe since they're eating chuma, aren't we going to say that they that they're good kaihanim? Elola mishum deriyah cheskayu must be because their chazaka is bad, right? And that's why, right? So Gemara asks because if that's the case, velam elam mai gedoy lechazaka. So what did you say when what what do you mean by the chazaka is so great? Right, meaning there was never, there was never. Meaning the whole point of this Gemara was trying to say that Chazak is so strong that the Kehanim that we can't just bounce them out, right? Um, but here, so exactly what is this talking about? What was there? What was there a Chashash that you were going to be mevatel and you're saying we're not going to be mevatel because of the Chazak? So meikara achobat chumad derabanan. In the beginning, they were eating chumad derabanan and hashta achobat chumad deraisa. Now they're eating chumad deraisa. Now they're also eating chuma de rabbanon, but chuma de raisa loyach, but chuma de raisa, they're not eating. And when do we say that somebody who eats chuma, he's considered a meyuchas de kakayin, but chuma de raisa, that's, that's when we see him eating chuma de raisa. Chuma de rabbanon, when he's eating chuma de rabbanon, loy maskin. So what does it mean, gedoy lo chazaka? Even though we should make a gzera of chuma daraisa, so we don't make a gzera. But chuma daraisa, but they did they not eat chuma daraisa? Um, I we just have to go. We're just in the middle of a gemara, so we just have to we just have to finish it. But chuma daraisa, loyachol. Did they not eat chuma daraisa? Vaksiv asher loyachol mikadosh hakadoshim. They didn't eat the mikadosh hakadoshim. Mikadosh hakadoshim who do loyachol. They didn't eat from the Kaidish Gadash, meaning Kaidish Gadash means from actual carbonous food. Right? So you see that they did eat Truma Daraisa. Right? 
um, they they didn't eat anything that's called kaidish. What does that mean? Which that's truma. A stranger, meaning Israel, can't eat kaidish. And they didn't eat anything that's called kachim. To see a baskayin, to see al ishzar, a baskayin will be to an ishzar. He be truma sa kachim loy seichel. Right? They should not eat truma sa kachim. Which remember we had. Well, let's just finish. Ramar mar muram min a kachim loy seichel. That's which is separated, right? That's, that's Muram, like Truma, from Kachim, that and Alari. That's talking about, remember, we said uh, in Yavamas, we had this a lot. We had a Kayan, a Bas Yisrael, that marries a Kayan. So um, once she gets divorced, so, and she has a kid, she would be able to eat Truma still, but she's not allowed to eat from the Chaza and Shaikh. So basically, what the Gemara is saying is that there's a few different levels of eating Kachim. There's the, there's the, there's the, uh, how do you call it? The, uh, the matnas kahuna, which is certainly an alarit, and then you have the regular, you have the regular truma. Okay, fine. Uh, we went a little over, but uh, it was the middle of the segment. All right, a good fuck, everybody. Well, well, it's, 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 it's just me and you. I'll tell you a story about Chazak. I'm not saying in front of everybody. Okay, fine. So, Rabbi Stein, Fiyakov. by me, no one's been fa- no one's yeah. been from in my family since they were in Europe, and I'm eighth generation New York. And so they even looked at matzevas and they couldn't find anything. My Tanta Mindy was looking up lineage and she got in touch with the, the great, whatever, the go- grandson of a Gabai that remembered the shul where my grandfather, my great grandfather Davin, and remembered Shabbos afternoon, he always got the Levi Aliyah. And based on that, Rav Scheinberg Paskin Dama Levi. So even with nothing on tombstones, just based on a story. And even signed the paper saying I'm a lady. Oh, yeah? So, so Interesting. Okay, see that, that, seems like they use tombstones, Ms. Manazir. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, go ahead. Are you available to talk a shidduch one thing after or not now? Um, yeah, but I, not yet. Not yet. I have a lot of, I have a lot of shots to catch up on. Can you text I, I know. I know a case where the where the person wrote uh, Levy for their f- husband, and I know people said absolutely wasn't Levy. Who in the family? I don't know why she wrote it, but I'm just saying. So I, I, even today with tombstones, I wouldn't be 100. Oh, percent Yeah, it depends. It depends on the situation. When can we call you? It's a good friend of mine. He's calling you about a shidduch. Oh, he wants to call. He you. wants to call a shidduch about who? Whatever, I'm saying, um, you want, oh, you mean give it, so tell him to call me in a half hour. Okay.